Well, you know the age old saying, lady. You can't help those that don't want to be helped. I'll give you points for knocking on the door with your foot, though. That's different. So did you find her back here? Yeah, uh, one of my other co-workers called in saying she was passed out behind the washing machine. I walked in, she was sitting on the trash can. It basically looked like she was using the bathroom on the trash can. No, it's, it's fine. So, so what was the deal that you needed to do? So I just need to let them know. So what was it that you needed to do? So because you wouldn't give me a straight answer on if you so were supposed to So I want to let them me. know what it was. So I want to let them know, my niece and nephews, so what it was. So you wanted to know. So what was the deal? So I let them know because um, what was the deal? So what was it was? So it turns out the drunk lady here was sleeping in the an employee only area. Also, what is up with that censoring? I didn't do that. That is a really strange black box floating around. Well, uh, yeah. So I can get a straight answer out of you if you were supposed That's to bullshit. be there or not. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. You gave it? me a fake room number when I asked what your room number That's was. That's bullshit. I asked where you were at. Ma'am, do you say are you staying on property? Yeah. No, I am staying on property. Okay. What's your room number? What was it? I have it in my phone. Okay, Wait, where's your phone at? Let me go get it. All right, well, hold on, hold on. Let the pair, pair, ma'am. I'm getting it right now, out of my phone. Oh, oh, I'm getting the ass. <laughs> uh, she didn't know where to go. Oh. I gotta know what it is. You're right, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna get it out of my phone. Okay. Wherever my phone is. I don't know, lady. Maybe it's behind the black sensor box over there, on, on the ceiling. What? What is going on with the sensoring? How about we look for your phone while you talk to the paramedics so they can get out of here? I'm gonna get it out of my phone. I don't know what it is. Okay, can you talk to the paramedics for us? I, I'm trying to avoid taking you to jail, so relax. Fuck taking me to jail. Because you're being disorderly right now. Go talk to the paramedics so we can get you back to your room and get you upstairs. End of discussion. Yeah. We'll look for your phone. Just come answer. They have, they have a couple questions for you, right. so they can leave, please. Look at her baffled expression right there. It's like she's trying to process the words that she is not allowed to do something, but isn't able to process the fact that she is not allowed to do something. Never heard a dad voice in her life, did she? And I'm not saying she doesn't have a dad, I'm just saying she doesn't have a dad with a dad voice. Otherwise we wouldn't be in this situation, now would we? Go, stop, go talk to the paramedics. Why are you going to take me to jail because I don't know where Disorderly I'm going? conduct. You're also in a restricted area. So I'm not going to ask this again. This is bullshit right now. It is bullshit. Eddie, you're being bullshit right now. But you can't transmute someone or something into bullshit. And I do believe the official term is horseshit. Alright. I just signed out as Pasadena 1 and I need 12 and go. I'm like, are you kidding me? Bam. You're gonna talk to the paramedics. When you just say the word, Sergeant, I don't know. We're good. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you. We will look for your phone, talk to the paramedics. Fuck. Ma'am, I'm gonna take you to jail in a second. Do you know what kind of bag you had, Tiffany? So I can look for it. <clears throat> hey, bud, where did you find her at? Right here. Where? Right, the, uh, right, right here? Sitting on that trash can with, with, with. I don't know. If you walk away again, you're gonna go to jail. Do you understand? I'm gonna put you in handcuffs and you're gonna go sober up in the jail. All right? You're gonna sit here and you're gonna talk to the paramedics so we can do this. I'm the supervisor out here. I'm done dealing with this. Do you understand? For me saying fuck you? No, no, no. It's not just that. It's this whole thing while we're here. All right, how about this? No, that you don't, you don't talk. You answer their questions. Well, since she is inebriated or drunk, I, th I, I think I actually said the correct word, didn't I? Yes. Yes, you did, Radical. Yeah, that's right, I did. Thank you, go, go, go. But you did put a rather odd emphasis on the R. And we are uh, gonna ignore that. Right. I see what you did there. But why are you gloating? Weren't you about to make a point? Oh, indeed, I, I did. Uh, so uh, she's drunk, entitled, and stupid all at the same time. So I'm pretty sure she doesn't understand what you just said, officer. Making me do work and shit to make you do work and shit. What was that? Nothing. Z. I'm done, I'm this. done answering your questions. I'm not going to deal with this. You are going to deal with this. If you walk away, I'm going to put you in handcuffs. You're going to be in the back of the car. You're going to go to jail. I, End of discussion. I don't have to deal with this. You do have to deal with this. I don't. Because we're here now. I don't have to deal with this. Okay. Let me look for my phone real quick. Ma'am, right now, you're going to go to jail if you don't stop. Understand? I'm not going to deal with I'm you. I'm going to deal with my phone real quick. No, you're not. I am. Do hey, you have a chair? Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Here, let me deal with this real quick. A chair? What, are you gonna beat her on the head with a chair, or are you gonna sit her down and have the talk of trying to be an adult? She clearly has never heard that talk. Step away. 
I'm gonna do Step it. away. Just Step it. away. Until we figure this out. I'm gonna deal with this. Jesus Christ. I'm taking her to jail at this point. All right, step aside, officers. I'm taking her to jail. I bet she can fit in the back of my duff. I mean, I'm on the record for transporting cows. No offense, cow. Oh, this is ridiculous. My cuff's on the other one. Temple team has no. Why not do this so quick? We're not pulling away, too. Wow. Beast, I got one temple team. This is ridiculous, dude. Right. Trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you guys by doing no. all this stuff. We told you multiple times to, to knock it off. Nothing's gonna give you your purse. Whip through it first. You guys, by getting my stuff to help you guys. You come through the uh, under garage, like parking lot, storage area. We're back here. We're gonna walk out to the cars. What are you doing? Uh, did you guys wanna? Did you get them? No, we didn't, we, we didn't, we didn't get anything. But right now, do you wanna answer any questions for them? Do you wanna deal with us? No, I want you to let me go. Well, no, you're not. Okay, all right. Okay. You're, that was no. Sorry, refusal. Yep. You, you know how, how you would have been able to go home? By listening to the officer and just getting the hell out of there after talking to this fine gentleman trying to check you out. And no, not in that way. I know you're drunk and all, so maybe you interpret a checkup like that as something entirely different. Uh, okay, well, who, who keeps playing with the sensor thing? Now something is sensors over here at the castle. Stop it! She was literally... Like dress hiked up, like problems ready to do smash and that Right. So see please. Can you please let me have my phone? Nope. A short but very satisfying door slam. Shit, what is going on? Why? Nope. What is, why did you do that? <laughs> why, why did he do that? You're the one sliding your butt over to the side of the car and then he opened the door to check on you and you fell out. You don't know how to car seat. Of course they don't, they never do. But it is rather amusing, you instantly went to the blame game instead of taking responsibility for your own damn butt. Hmm. Well, unless you talk to your butt, or your butt actually speaks, but that would be an entirely different problem. Excuse me! I'd like to ask you a few questions. Make sure you're all right. Oh, move your feet. <laughs> hey, what's, what's your face? <laughs> Why did you do that? I really don't see the drive. This is the first time I've seen her on the property. Right. Yeah, I don't see a, uh, a key card in here. Mm. Fuck you, you fucking asshole! Uh, ma'am, I run a family fucking friendly show here. I mean, I I'm I'm glad it's being censored, but why? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? This early in talks. If well, you kick, the, listen. If you kick the window again, you're going to be tased. I just want to know why he. I just want to know why he arrested me so easily. Just ask me that. Because why, the way you're acting. But why did he Sit arrest back. me so easily? Can you answer me that? Why did he arrest me so easily? Sit back. Under the seatbelt. Stop it. But why did he arrest me so easily? I, I'm not entirely sure. I understand the question. Maybe it's because you're a wimp. Or it's because you didn't actually follow the orders of the officer and uh, were quite annoying and a nuisance uh, while being in a restricted area, while drunk. And now you're doing backseat gymnastics? You're a bit of a weirdo, aren't you? Or this is how you behave in the backseat of a car. And you can interpret that any which way you want. Because the way you're acting. No, just right now I did. I mean, no. I, have, I have a boss, but I have to be here. I mean, I have to go to work tomorrow. No, no, you're going to jail. But now I'm going to jail now, but I have to go to, but wait, I have to go to work tomorrow. I mean, I have to go to work tomorrow, but why? I mean, I have to go to work tomorrow. Fuck, fuck, stop, stop. Stop, I have to go to work tomorrow. I have to go to work tomorrow, but why? Get inside the car 
And stop. Stop. No, listen. You're going to end up getting stop. tased. Stop. I promise stop. you. Stop. I said, was, listen to me as you as a cop. Listen, you're as a cop and being professional. I'm a professional as well. I have never actually heard anyone put it quite that way. What, what, what exactly is the professional part about this? Are, are you a professional bint? M maybe a professional twat? Because there's a lot of twatish on display right now. You can even take that quite literal at the moment. And if you're gonna link it to professional, I don't think you understand what you just said. Do you have a lot of red lights at your job? Listen to me, you being a cop and a professional, I'm a professional as well. <laughs> well, I, uh, I think we have our answer. She's, uh, she's a professional, guys. Sometimes you really can't write this shit. Listen! Listen! Oh, she's about to get hobbled. Let me uh, spark test my taser real quick. Okay, fine. Someone's helping me, finally. Uh, can you tell me why I'm under arrest? I'm under arrest for disorderly conduct? That's why I'm under arrest. <laughs> My friend doesn't even know. She so has no idea. Well, la di da boo hoo and why did you not actually follow the orders of the officer? You're trying to blame this on the officer, when it is entirely your fault. How many chances did you get to GTFO? My friend has no idea, she's oblivious. Can you at least notice her for that? Where is she? She's in the, she has no idea where I'm at. She has no idea where I'm at. She's oblivious to where I'm at. And here I am in the back of a cop car, and then I'm arrested right now. Oh, good on you. You want a sticker? Where were you born in? Georgia, and you got me in the back of a cop car for fucking disorderly conduct, and my best friend has got me, and you got me arrested for disorderly conduct, and we both are here right now. Holy hell, a two-pointer. You get two stickers. She knows she's arrested. She knows she's in the backseat of a police car. And here's the kicker. She knows she's here. Get these off my fucking hands. Get these off my fucking hands. Get these off my hands. Why did you do this? All right, that's it. Now it's my turn. Five minutes alone. That's all I need. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Stop it. Fuck you. Stop. Take them off no. me. No. I'm not Bobble. that person. I don't. Do you in the back of yours? I'm not that person. Take them off me. I don't want to do this. You're just drunk. Stop. <laughs> I mean, officer, she might spark off again. And since your partner has a fully charged Mr. Sparky, you know, put two and two together. I mean, this might be shocking to you, but I, I've, it's been a while since I've uh, seen Mr. Sparky in action. And, and here's the thing. Don't read the popular belief. I, I don't do pop. The way you're acting is, is unacceptable. Why am I being like Listen, this? if you damage the window, you're going to be charged with a felony. Why am I being treated like this? Though? Because you're drunk. Enough. But why am I being fucking treated like this? Treated like this, it's not fair. Because we're gonna we're gonna put handcuffs now on your feet. Don't be fucking fucking on your feet. Are you gonna sit here fine? Don't treat me like this. Don't treat me like a fucking fucking criminal. Well, t technically you are uh, doing criminal behavior right now. Might just be on the lower spectrum of criminal behavior, but you're also acting like an animal, so they are treating you like one. I'm not a fucking criminal. Treat me like a fucking criminal. Uh, one of my doors, I think. Take these off of me. No. <laughs> now don't do that to me. Stop, Stop it. Take these off my hands. I don't like it. Stop. 
I don't like this. You're not going to damage my cruisers. You understand? No. That's like enough. This. Yeah, I know you don't like this. Nobody likes going to jail. But why am I going to jail? I've done nothing wrong. No, stop. That's enough. No. Nope. That's enough. Like this. Yeah. Your actions cause this to happen. What do you we mean my actions? I didn't do we shit wrong because I didn't fucking jail to begin with. I should have never even been going to jail to begin with. Stop. No. Stop. Take these off of me. My hands hurt. Please take these off no. of me. That's enough. So listen, these are going to go on your legs. And no. Do you think these are going to go on my fucking legs? Then stop. No. Then stop. No. This take, is enough. Take these off my hands right now. No. Yes. Stop. No, take them off my hands. If, take them off my hands. If you kick the window again. You're no. going to be tased. No, fuck that guy. And then you're gonna, then you're gonna be no, charged with permission. Fuck that guy right there. He, he didn't do anything. No, yeah, fuck him. Stop these right now. Hands right now. No, stop these right now. Stop them. Right no. That is enough. Hey, grab the other seatbelt. Yeah. Put him through our arm on the other side. No, you better stop it right now. I, I guess you're not really uh, up to snuff uh, with all the hip uh, uh, criminal stuff. Uh, so so you gotta talk about you can't breathe. And also, maybe you can tell the officer you're not under arrest. Only problem is you can't do the hand wave. So the mind trick of the Jedi uh, doesn't work. But hey, since you're so skilled with your legs, maybe you can wiggle your foot at him. You weirdo. No. No. And then pull him through the seatbelt. No! Stop it! What are you so doing? You get untie yourself. What are you doing? Ah! What are you doing? We told you to stop. That's enough. Enough. You're gonna get more charges. That's enough. Why are you doing this? I don't want Why are you doing this? Put your feet in the car. No! Here, turn. What are you guys doing to me right now? Where's your other seatbelt? We got the other seatbelt pulled over. She keeps taking it off. Are you guys really trying to lose the Do what? Take you to jail? Yes. For what? What have I done? Why are you trying to take jail? I want to know what you're trying to charge me with. Disorderly the end talks. For what? The way you're acting. For what? Stop kicking in the window. For what? What for? Why? But, I mean, you keep asking these questions, but you're not interested in the answer. Okay, let's go. Cool. Hey, you got me at four fucking... Can you take a picture of this real quick? I cannot do that. You can't? You're gonna, the whole thing's on video, so you can get the video. Can you, you can get a video of that? <laughs> yes, yes you can. You can request this body cam footage, or in this case car cam footage, or you can go onto uh, the internet and uh, see yourself being made the fool by the likes of me and others. And you are the main character in this story. But then again, you actually think you are the main character of everyone's story, don't you? Can you get a video of it? You can get this whole video of you. All... You got a video of it? You got a video of this picture right here with me like this? You do got a video of it like this with the way I'm videoed right now? Yes, and we also have a video of you with your legs up in the air kicking the car and uh, doing all kinds of weird uh, backseat gymnastics. But hey, uh, you're a professional, so you probably know about that kind of stuff, don't you? I guess you saw the red light on the police car, but forgot about the blue one and the white one. Okay, cool. Good job. It's a whole different day. How did you even get me? Yeah, it's just, how would you even get me? That's very simple. You fell asleep in a restricted area, so the next day people come to work and find you sleeping there, refusing to leave, causing a scene, refusing to listen to your officers, then doing your backseat uh, gymnastics and acting like an animal. That's why you're tied up like one right now. <laughs> Why would you do? Come get me in the morning. Fuck you. What'd you do? Come wake me up and get me? Fucking trash. Fuck you.
fuck you and your fucking balls, your brain trash. What am I going to jail for? If I don't need... Huh? Sorry, <laughs> That's what I'm going to jail for. That's what I was arrested for. That's what I was originally arrested for. Like my feelings are so hurt that that's what I was arrested for. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Indeed, officer. It's always the same pattern, isn't it? Getting told what to do, refusing to do it, then getting very surprised at the fact that you're being arrested for not doing the thing that you were told to do. And then constantly asking the same question over and over again as to why you're being arrested after being told multiple times. It's interesting how the drunk broken brain works, isn't it? Bye bye Imagine acting like an animal, then being treated like an animal by you being tied up and then being very surprised at the fact that just happened. Listen to me, you need to be a cop and a professional. I'm a professional as well.